Hi, can I get one tall unicorn frappuccino, please? Five dollars to the window. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. See you. Hey bitches, it's Merrick, and today on the menu is a Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. Yes, you heard me right. I got my hands on the brand new Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I make mukbang and ASMR videos. If you could, please just pause this video, scroll down below, and hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate all your support. If you do subscribe to my channel, you'll get notifications of when I upload new videos for you to enjoy. But without further ado, let's get started. So I have my Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino right here. This is how it looks like. It's a little bit melted right now because I'm going to be real with you guys. It's been almost an hour since I bought the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. Like I literally bought the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. I had to like drive around to find like a good filming location because the sun was setting and like the sunlight was in my eyes it was just like a hot mess and I ended up going back to my Starbucks store like literally I'm parked right in front of the Starbucks so if you see people walking by in the background or if you hear noises of the door opening that's because I am parked in front of a Starbucks but I am going going on a rant right now so I will digress this is the unicorn frappuccino and as you can see it is unicorn colors we got some pinks dark pinks light pinks we got some cotton candy blue um, if you guys can see there's whipped cream on the top but while I was driving all the whipped cream went to one side because like I had to like break and stuff so all the whipped cream is pushed against the cap right here they did put some like a uh, pink sprinkles on the top of the whipped cream but all of it got smushed onto there um, this is an ugly sticker they put on because they needed to know my order and yeah it comes in this classic Starbucks cup so without further ado let's give it a try Try. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is seriously not what I was expecting. Mmm. Wow. This is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting like more of a cotton candy meets white chocolate taste. But this is so not that. This is like mmm. It's like a fruity punch almost. It's like, I would equate it to like Sour Patch Kids, I think. It sounds kind of strange, but I would seriously equate it to Sour Patch Kids. Mm. By the way, uh, during that one hour when I got the drink and when I was like driving around to find like the optimal filming location, I did not, I repeat, I did not take a sip of this. So like what you saw right there was my genuine first reaction like I didn't try it beforehand so yeah mm. let me check if like my mic is recording right now because that's like one of my fears um and one of my mukbangs I'll be posting on in the future I recorded the entire mukbang when my external mic wasn't turned on so I was so 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 angry so give me one second I need to check okay we're good we're good we're good okay it's actually recording this time Mm. Um, so if you don't know what the unicorn frappuccino is at Starbucks, then hopefully you're watching this before Sunday because this is a limited time drink. Right now it is Wednesday, April 19th, and they're ending this special promotion on Sunday. So Thursday would be 20th, Friday is 21st. 22nd Saturday, 23rd. Sunday, April 23rd is your last day to get this drink. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have it all across Canada and I think in the States as well. I'm not sure about other countries, so you might want to call up your local Starbucks and ask if they do have the unicorn frappuccino. 
I would highly, um, no, that's a lie. Um, I wouldn't, like, highly recommend it, because, like, it doesn't, like, blow my mind away. Okay, there's a dog nearby me. He is, or it is barking. So you guys might hear some barking noises in this video right now. Um, hopefully the dog will leave because I do not want my entire video to have barking noises. Okay, the dog stopped barking. Oh, it's back. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh my gosh. The owner of the dog literally just sat down in, like, the patio section of Starbucks. So I feel like he's going to be there for a very long time with the barking dog. Um, I'm thinking of moving to another location right now. But I can't find any other place that has, like, lots of shade. Uh-oh. I'm literally just, like, eyeing him to see, like, if he's gonna go. The dog stopped barking. Mmm. That's the th that's the thing with like filming in public. It's like you never know what your environment is going to be because like if I do film like in a restaurant when I do my mukbang videos, the table next to me might be like might have like a kid crying at their table, and you guys might hear like crying noises for the entire the entire video. But the dogs the dog stopped barking, so that is a good sign. Hmm. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, so this uh, drink is only available until Sunday, April 23rd of 2017. Um, I'm not sure how this really blew up actually. I think was I think someone ordered this as a custom drink and they took a picture of it and then a lot of the girls thought it was like really cute and by girls I mean like uh, girls on the internet, like, lots of girls went crazy over this drink because it was, like, pink and, like, fem feminine and stuff. So, it got really, really popular. Okay. Oh, sorry. The dog is, like, walking away. I get really distracted, as you can see. Um, so a lot of, a lot of girls on the internet really like the color of this drink, and I think Starbucks was just like, okay, we're gonna do, like, a limited time run of the Unicorn fra Frappuccino. So that is what happened. Mm. Want to take a sip, you guys? Open wide. Here. Do you want to use the straw? Okay, got it? How about let's not use the straw? What happens if I just poured it into your mouth? Open wide. Mmm. Yummy. So yeah, I think that's how this drink came into fruition. Mm. I forgot to tell them to take off the um, order sticker. Because I wanted to get a really cute thumbnail shot of this Frappuccino. But this sticker was in the way, so I literally had to like tilt and angle my Starbucks cup in order to avoid getting the order sticker. Ugh. Hashtag YouTuber problems. Mmm. But yeah, this drink is a lot more fruity. It tastes like, again, Sour Patch Kids. Kids? Sour Patch Kids. It tastes very, very fruity, very um, citrusy, and that's not what I was expecting at all. I thought there would be more of a chocolatey taste to it for some reason, or at least cotton candy, right? Because it looks like it's cotton candy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'll insert a clip right now. But, um, actually no, I'll just the clip later, but literally, um, if you guys can see, below me, I have so many Kleenexes all over the place. Because, the person who made my drink, they filled it up to the very, very top. And it was so annoying, because every time, like, I just held it, since the, uh, since the cap, or the container... 
uh, went inwards when I hold it. Like, some of the drink came leaking out. So, literally, every time I held my unicorn frappuccino, some of the frappuccino would be running down the cup. It would be all over my hand, all over my car. So, I had to use so many Kleenexes to wipe it up. Look what is happening to my unicorn frappuccino. It is literally dripping all over my car. Do you see that? Yes, that's from the unicorn frappuccino. <laughs> Thanks, Starbucks. So this is the amount of Kleenex I use to wipe my car from the unicorn frappuccino. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, I don't want to say like sour tasting, but like kind of sour tasting. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying because like uh, my camera, it does not have a wide angle lens. I totally want to show you guys my new haircut that I got today, but like I would have to like crawl down. Like this is how like I normally sit. And I can't back away too much or else like you guys can't see me that well. So, yeah, so this is my new haircut. I got a side part, 0 0.5 on the sides, a line right there, and then it's a comb over. I like it. It looks swaggy as at, I was gonna say AF, but like, I made a goal on my channel not to swear too much because I realize I do have a younger audience and I do not want to use um, inappropriate language in front of them. Oh, this bugs me because I want to show you guys my hair, but I can't fit it in the same frame. Oh my, go oh my gosh, how about I just do this? I would just like lean back. Is this weird? Does this look weird? I look so casual, right? I'm just like chilly in my car, drinking all my unicorn frappuccino, just being all bro, bro-y. What do you guys call it? I don't know. <laughs> just being a bro's bro, I think. Yeah, I'm being a bro's bro right now, drinking my pink unicorn frappuccino. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let's talk about pricing. So this was five Canadian dollars with tax. It was actually flat five dollars because I asked him. I was like, like actually five dollars, and he's like, yeah, five zero zero. I'm like, no way. He's like, yeah way. So I just gave him a five dollar bill. Maybe this is cheaper in the states because like the American dollar is stronger than than the Canadian dollar. So I would think this would be like. I don't know, 350. Oh, by the way, this is a tall size. So a tall is five dollars dollars flat. Five dollars flat. Hmm. I'm looking in the viewfinder right now to see like what that lady beside me is doing. Oh, she's trying to get into her car. Hmm. I hate it when um you get to the bottom of a drink. It's like very icy and like all the flavor is gone. That's starting to happen to me right now with my Frappuccino slowly. Can you guys see how much I finished? I started up here and now I'm kind of like halfway through. Mm. I feel like um, all the flavor sunk to the bottom at the start. Because, like, like I said, I had, like, a one-hour gap in between when I actually bought it and when I started filming this video. So, like, all the flavor, like, con like concentrated to the bottom of the cup. And when I slurped it, I got so much flavor. And now that I'm done all the flavoring, I'm stuck with the ice. Hmm. Doesn't Starbucks um, usually have like seasonal frappuccinos? Or not like seasonal frappuccinos, but like limited time frappuccinos? Mm. I know. They had a birthday cake frappuccino, I think. So it was basically like vanilla bean, like your regular vanilla bean frappuccino. And then they had pink whipped cream on the top. Um, I got that when they had it, and I remember being thoroughly disappointed. Actually, no, yeah, I was pretty disappointed, because, like, the whipped cream, there's, like, a hint of strawberry taste, but it's, like, basically tasteless, and it was, like, your regular vanilla bean frappuccino. So I feel like that whole thing was, like, a marketing gimmick. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
does that annoy anyone? When people, like, suck on the bottom of the cup, and you just hear that, like, sucking noise. Like that. Mmm, it's starting to get sour, actually. I think I might end this video soon. I'm only tasting ice now. Mmm. Got some on, the, on my pants. Yeah, this is all um, ice on the bottom. All ice. Mm, by the way, I'm filming this on a Wednesday. And usually, I upload a video on Thursdays. And like the Thursdays video is like ASMR. And when I was in the restaurant buying food for the ASMR... That's when I saw the unicorn frappuccino on my Facebook timeline. Like, I saw it, I think, like, two or three days ago, but I never knew when it actually started or whether it would be available in Canada or not. So I found out it started today, which is Wednesday, April 19th. I was like, oh my gosh, it starts today. And then I actually searched up if it was available in my city, and I called her near Starbucks, and they were like, yes, it's available. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to film this video and get this up right away. So I actually filmed my ASMR video at home. I ate my food, and then I came to the Starbucks to grab a dessert, I guess. Hmm. So I basically filmed two videos today. Hmm. Alrighty. So, I think I am done my unicorn frappuccino. I just have that much left. This is all just ice all around. There's no more flavoring. We still got some whipped cream on the top. Let me try the pink whipped cream. Or is that pink? It's like, ugh. okay, hold on. It's like regular whipped cream with like some pink dye on it. Let me lick it. Mmm, there's flavor to it. I am genuinely surprised. There's actually flavor to it. It's like whipped cream, and it kind of tastes sour again. It's like a sour syrup. Mmm, not bad, not bad. Overall, I would give this, um, I would say I give this an 8.5 out of 10. I would say try it. Um, if you have a Starbucks nearby you, and they are having this promotion when you're watching this video, but I wouldn't. I don't think you should like cry your eyes over it if you miss this promotion. It's like it's good, but it's not like that 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 good. So yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry, burpy a little bit. Drank too much of the unicorn frappuccino. If you are new to my channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I would really, really, really appreciate all your support. Pause this video for a quick second, scroll down, hit that subscribe icon. It's a red re rectangular box, red rectangular box, and you'll be subscribed to my channel. I upload, as of right now, two videos every week. A mukbang on Sundays and ASMRs on Thursdays. If you don't know what a mukbang is, it's an eating show where I do a lot of this kind of dialogue with you guys, a lot of conversational talk. It's just kind of someone to eat with when you don't have anybody to eat at home, share a meal with me. And then Thursdays are ASMRs and they are more like relaxing, whispering, eating noises to help people either fall asleep or just chill after a long days of work. So please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll link all my past videos, mukbangs, and ASMRs on the screen right now for you to enjoy. And until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye, bitches.